All right. You just brought up a good point. Before what? we check back what? in with Mad Dog, the pilot, you know, we need our own nickname. So, Jordy, you said Kev's Goose? Uh, oh, you and you're Maverick, and I'm Duck. <laughs> so, duck, so we're going to talk to Mad Dog right now, who is, uh, of course, at the Canadian War Plane Heritage uh, Museum in Hamilton. Uh, Leon, I got to tell you right now, Leon Evans, by the way, I got to tell you the response we're getting on social media is over the top, phenomenal, and love with this oh, Lancaster and with your museum. Good for you guys. No, good, good for you guys. You. Good for it's you good guys. to hear. <laughs> All right, you're going to. Well, we're very proud of this airplane. I mean, it's, uh, it didn't see any service in the war, but it was built immediately after the war. Part of this airplane it has come from an airplane that was in battle, so uh, part of her went to war. So, can you take but us... But it represents all of the veterans. Most definitely. Now, can you take, us, can you take us in, inside? Let's, let's get Absolutely. a Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Gate 10. <laughs> I love it. Gate 10's in love with this as well. She wasn't built for comfort. I've got the, uh, hang on, I've got the camera. <laughs> and uh, here comes Guy Ten. Oh, Watch okay. your head, Guy Ten. I'm good, thank yeah. you. There you go. We've just entered the uh, main entrance door of the uh, Lancaster. We call her Vera because of a reg registration VRA. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna move forward now towards the bomb bay. 34 foot long bomb bay. This airplane carried 22,000 pounds of bombs, some big bombs like the Grand Slam and the, the 22,000 pounder. And the tall boy, the 12,000 pounder that went after the tur pits. Where I notice now we have to bend down. I've got scars on my head to prove that you have to bend down. And I'm um, climbing over the flapjack. Always get hungry at this point, I don't know why. But anyway, that's the jack that operates our flaps and over the rear spar of the airplane. And uh, at this point, I usually pause and I check that my air bottles are at a suitable air pressure, 1,200 pounds, two batteries, battery switches are on. And uh, I have my hydraulic tank there. During the war, that hydraulic fluid was flammable. Now it isn't. And that's why this airplane is dedicated to Andrew Minarski. Andrew, of course, the mid-upper gunner who tried to save his buddy, the tail gunner, Pat Brophy, while the airplane was mortally wounded and on fire. Well, I just made it to the cockpit. They say from the cockpit, they, well, actually from the pilot seat, out the back door with your parachute in seven seconds. It takes me about two minutes. And anyhow, this is the business end of the airplane, and that's really an injustice because the whole airplane is the business end. It was designed for one thing. It's really a weapon of mass destruction, but we love her. It represents some very valiant individuals in World War II on all sides, of course. So this airplane was a single pilot airplane. We have one, two wheels in it now because we uh, do fly it with two pilots. So I'm just trying to get back out of well, Gitan's way. Le Leon, Leon, one of the most yes, dangerous sir. portions of the plane though is where the machine gunners would sit, right? Yeah, you know, the worst part was the tail gunner, and that's tail true gunner. on any airplane. The tail gunner, yeah, the tail gunner would be the first one the fighters would hit. And then after they've got the tail gunner, of course, the airplane is uh, vulnerable, very vulnerable. Oops, hang on. Leon. And, uh, so, right. Yes. I can, just want to say uh, that you are... Oh, can, sorry, go ahead. Can, can Gate get in there? Oh, that's Gate, the one No, the, uh, just... Uh, yeah. My telephone... Gate, just Gate tan's <laughs> tangled up here, so we just... Uh, <laughs> okay. I wonder why. Go ahead, Deanie. Oh, yes, yeah. Leon, I just wanted to say, not only are you an exceptional pilot, but you blew Kevin and myself away. You just did a two-minute breathless. Seamlessly, you are also an exceptional broadcaster, my friend. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Okay. Well, you guys make it happen. Okay, I tell yeah, you what. Yeah, thank you very much. I tell you what, th you've been so good. A little later on, we're going to go back into the tail gun section. Is that okay, Leon? Yeah, we'll make that happen. All right. Do you know, uh, Kevin, I've never been back there, to be honest with you, because we don't use it anymore, of course. Can you get there? But uh, we can, we, we'll get there. All right, okay? look at that. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. All Captain right. Mad Dog, you're Kevin, the best. I might... Hey, thanks, Danny. Uh, we might have to send somebody else into the tail gun position, somebody just a little bit smaller. Okay. Oh. I'm sure Gaetan is looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>